Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to remove acne from a person's face using the healing brush tools. So over on the left in the tools window, right above the classical brush, you have the healing brush, if we right click here, and the spot healing brush tools. These two tools are almost identical, except that with the healing brush tool, you're basically kind of copying from one area where you would have perfect skin, into an area where you would have imperfect skin. Whereas with the spot healing brush tool, whereas with the spot healing brush tool, it's going to take information from the areas around your problem area, the acne, and use that area to figure out which colors it should be making the acne become, basically the skin color of the rest of the face. So we'll start by using the healing brush tool here. With the healing brush tool, we should hit Alt, to find a spot where we have good skin. So you left click, and then that's basically using it as the anchor point. And then we find a spot where we have a problem, like the acne, and we start drawing on it. And you can see that as I draw with the brush, it's actually taking the information directly from another part of the face. Now, this can be a really good way to get rid of acne, but note that since it is basically copying the information from one area to another part of your face, if you do it too often, it might become obvious that that is not the original part of the face. So it's a good idea to sample from different areas uh, in order to get better results. So here we can apply some acne fixes over there. Maybe we sample the cheek up here in order to kind of fix down there a little bit. And there likewise as well. Now, with the Spot Healing Brush tool, uh, it's more targeted at making really small fixes. So, for instance, um, here you could say, oh, this looks a little bumpy, so we want to kind of fix that. So if we draw over here with the Healing Brush and make sure that we cover the area where we're trying to fix, it'll sample the areas that we actually have selected in making it look more uniform, making bumps go away and making acne go away. So. Let's just kind of try that there, and you can see it makes it a lot more level. You do lose some of the detail because it's kind of blurring and meshing the colors together. But if what you're trying to go for is a perfect looking face, uh, then this, these are the tools that are going to be helping you out. So here we also have some wrinkles. We can work on that. Spot healing brush. Just be careful you don't go too overboard with it. If you have any doubts, step back, make sure that whatever fixes you're applying here aren't too obvious that they are fake. And uh, we can try to get that wrinkle too, for fun. Yep, and let's just keep applying a little more till we get it. And just by using those tools, we've basically removed a couple of the wrinkles and some of the acne. Next, let's come down here to work on this big acne. So I'm gonna use the main healing brush because we're dealing with something large. So here I'm gonna sample from the area over here using the main healing brush. And we'll try to overwrite this a bit and see how that goes. Pretty easy, actually. And uh, let's get there a bit. Here as well. And that's definitely an improvement. We could use the spot healing brush to come make some very minor changes as well. And that's not too bad. So let's just do the neck real quick. And then we'll call it a video. So healing brush going to sample from, uh, let's say, this part of the neck up here. Because of shadows, it might actually make more sense to go from over here, so that the color is more consistent. And we'll sample for this part of the neck as well. If you want, you can also spend some extra time working on these small areas where you have a bit of inconsistent skin color. So note that because no one really has absolutely perfect skin, if you do go all the way in trying to make the skin flawless, it will become more and more obvious that it's a bit photoshopped. Um, but you can go as far as you want with it. I think this is pretty decent compared to the original. So let's just do a quick before and after. So this is now, and that was before. So you can see how these Photoshop tools are really good for making improvements on things like acne. I've been Chris, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my future video content.